So carrying on with the dirty theme horse, um, looking at this bed from a distance, you think, oh, that's quite clean. Uh, maybe she's already skipped out. This is the horse that digs everything into his bed. So overnight, at least it's clean on top when he lays down, but this is literally how I find it. I have no clue what I will find underneath. Um, and the only way to muck him out when he's like this is literally to dig the whole lot up. But obviously trying not to disturb the cat layer, um, trying to go with um, as much skimming of the top as possible just to find the poo um, so that we can then um, muck out and um, literally simple as that I mean on first look it is a bit oh my gosh where do I start but to be perfectly honest it, it is a simple case of just skimming the top and um, all the poo is nice and dry um, from Orbeos taking the moisture and then we're ready to muck out So with the power of video, we've um, fast forwarded to the boring bit of you not having to watch me skim all the top off. Um, but as you can see, I've carefully gone all the way down to the caps layer. Um, just taking this opportunity while I've got time um, to have a good look at what's going on and whether um, we need to take any out. Um, so this horse is quite clean as far as uh, the wet side goes, um, but um, what he does um, is just sort of weighs in this sort of section diagonally, um, but he does sort of spread it about a little bit, which helps because um, I don't get a ridge forming in one particular area. Um, so I've just scraped across the top just to see how we're doing on the um, wet front um, and um, no real um, ammonia smells being uncovered um, as I've had a little dig in and this bit's a little bit wet here. Um, I'm just going to just scrape the top off this section. Just um, now, if you can see that wet bit, literally all I'm taking out is just a couple of forkfuls just off the top um, where it's just come through a little bit. Um, just trying not to dig in too much so that I don't disturb the under layer that's forming the um, cap so that it um, holds the wet um, so then it doesn't come to the surface. So as you saw before um, in the um, original shot uh, the top of this bed was completely dry um, but as you can see now I've got two distinct wet patches underneath um, that although dryish generally um, they're obviously growing as wet patches they're not really squelching at all at the moment they're settling in nicely um, using the Orbeos to um, soak up um, the caps layer I know I keep mentioning it but the caps layer of the Orbeos is, is the amazing part of using this bed you really can keep this bed down for a while um, without having a wet uh, bed for the horse to lie on so I will cover this back up now um, so that the horse has got a nice dry bed and this all oh, I've gone down to um, probably um, I'd say probably about an inch or so in depth I've gone down quite far um, today um, but this bed was dug out um, at the beginning of the um, winter staying in overnight um, so this this nice um, 
area of, of capped bed is only just starting to form. Um, we've only been in a week or so now. Um, so um, yeah, so one thing I did want to mention was um, obviously everybody shows you nice lovely videos of nice lovely fresh dry um, sparkling beds but what I want to mention is this bed is so economic to use it really is the cheapest in the long term to use um, I've had a big delivery come in ready for the winter um, but so far I've hardly really touched it um, you can see from the colour um, of the bed um, how long it's been down it's growing to um, be a nice dark brownish colour where it's taken the wet um, it's taken the moisture from the air um, it's not wet to hold um, but obviously it's changing into a much darker colour um, there's a little bit of a bank here that's still um, white uh, I think as I dig into this bank there we are there's the nice new white um, that's still in there to mix in um, from the last time I put some fresh bedding in um, to be perfectly honest um, I probably put um, about half a bale in the other week um, and that was about it um, so this bed really does last a good long time um, and if you do use the um, littered capped layer system um, it will um, keep you going and going and going and going through the winter um, so obviously a big thumbs up from us uh, but I just wanted to show you that literally it looks like an old bed because it is an old bed and it literally has lasted me that long all the way through the summer and now into the winter.